Is life this meaningless? If you know anything about Ikea, you know that's an Ikea blue bag. If you know anything about Wyatt, you know Justin's home. Is Justin home? Oh boy, he's still shit in his window, so we gotta see. Oh, hey. <laughs> How you doing? Yo! Hey! <laughs> I was like, wait, is that Ray? That's not Ray. Ah, oh, fuck. How is your fucking... Mm. Okay, what, $1.99? This tastes like, well, okay. Let's look at the ingredients. High fructose corn soup being the second ingredient. <laughs> That's some good cranberry juice. <laughs> that hurt. Let's celebrate your great return by me sitting down and you telling me exactly about something. <laughs> Does your computer work? Mm -hmm. These are important things. <laughs> That's good. Do you do you own Ray's monitor now? No. No. Oh. I think he's ready for his close up. How do I stop it? Uh, you just it's this middle button on the dial here. Like the turn the, the little cranky. It, it's like in the middle of the crank on the bottom right here. Or you can just call me and I'll I'll fix it. See this right there. Oh. So now it's on. Oh, it's rolling. So now it's and now it's rolling. 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 Okay. okay. I see it. Right. <laughs> hey guys, it's Justin. Um, I had a plan originally for what this clip was gonna be about, but I sort of decided to throw that out the window and just sort of wing it. So I think I'm gonna jump right into it. At Grad Life, we pride ourselves on our ability to put our lives on the internet without any filters. We really like being honest, we like the responses we get uh, because of our honesty. So now I'm going to take the opportunity to be honest with you guys. In the coming week I will be moving out of Grad Life Manor here in Brooklyn, New York and moving back to Sarasota, Florida. Um, it's not because I don't like New York. It's definitely not because I don't like living with these awesome dudes that I'm living with. Um, it's just that I am broke. Uh, I have almost no money. Um, I have not been paying rent for a long time, and I owe Wyatt that rent. Um, so my plan is to reground myself in Sarasota, somewhere that I know and somewhere that I feel comfortable. Um, so my plan is to possibly move in with Charles and Allie at house CTFXC. Uh, of course I'd pay them rent because it's not like I, I, I just want to, you know, run away from responsibility and not pay rent at all somewhere and, you know, like live with my parents. Sorry mom if you're watching this, but I don't think I want to move back in with my parents because it's like this decision that I'm making is about like moving forward and just like taking responsibility and becoming confident and all of these things. Um, I have no doubt that I could be that person that I want to be in New York, but it's just that I skipped a few steps in coming here initially. Like, I don't know, we moved out of our our mansion in Sarasota and I, I thought it was great that we were coming here as like a house you know I was like really I was excited about it um, I'm still excited about it um, I don't want to like lead any of you like you know astray um, like I want I want to be here it's just that like financially and and like as a like a result of the the money situation emotionally it's it's difficult for me to be here this decision, I think, will benefit me as a person. So I, I'm headstrong and I'm confident about it. And I know some of you are gonna be a little 
gonna go wonky about it, and I'm sure some of you are gonna wonder what's gonna happen with Grad Life, what's gonna happen with our other projects. Um, the good news, I don't know if he's told you yet, but internet will be available here uh, on Tuesday, <laughs> so we'll be able to actually send each other clips, and we'll be able to play video games online with each other. Uh, so Grad Life is still gonna exist. The projects that we have on the table are still going to exist. Uh, they're just going to be a little bit different, and I don't know. I feel like that's in line with what we're trying to do with grad life. Like we're trying to chronicle this period after graduating college, where you have to figure out your life. You know. But yeah, I talked to everyone here about it. Uh, we had a, a little roommate meeting thing <laughs> like a couple of days ago. Um, so they're all very supportive because. They are awesome people, and I'm sure you guys know that because you get to watch them. My parents are also super supportive. Allie and Charles are supportive. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, I don't know, I feel just blessed to have so many awesome people in my life. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what else there is to say. Um, I'll definitely be seeing you guys. Um, the vlogs are still going to continue. I'm still going to be friends with all these fools up here. So yeah, don't worry too much. And don't worry about me, because I have an awesome life. It's just i got to figure some things out first, you know? Justin's downstairs recording what you just know. What you just heard. It's for his own good. But I'm going to miss him a lot, and that sucks, mostly because I'm selfish. I've already cried a fair bit about this, so I don't feel the need to start crying again, which I might, but yeah, I'm going to miss him a lot. I don't, I don't think this spells doom for grad life by any means, because um, the good news is that we're getting cable, like, very soon. Like, I think our building's going to be rigged Tuesday, which means I can send him files and he can send me files, vice versa, which means that, like, we can combine vlogs, and even in times when we aren't, like, you know, corporally near each other, it won't matter because we can hang out online, which is actually a lot of what we do. So, like, it doesn't really matter. I'll just, you know, this is physical. Hey, bro. You know? I miss that a lot. But at least it's really cheap for him to fly up here, so he can, he can visit a lot. Hopefully. He's recording that downstairs now, by the way. I wanted to not make an audience type effect as you record it because that's probably not the easiest thing in the world already yeah I mean it sucks because there's all this good news and like this is good news honestly that Justin has sort of figured out what he needs to do to you know quote unquote fix his life but it's still that that you know the, the moving away part sucks for me I hate that I miss, I'm gonna miss him but we're getting internet and I'm like I, I was really sick I was really, really sick. I took ibuprofen and I got a bunch of like, like basically ulcers, I found out. And like that's why I haven't been able to do anything. And I'm on meds for it now. And apparently that's something that normally happens, which is fucking, I, whatever, you know, fuck, fuck everything. But like I'm getting back to my normal self again. <coughs> <coughs> so we have internet, and I have my health, but Since he has to get his stuff out of here, um, you know, he's probably going to get a rental car and drive home, and his dad was going to do it with him, but I offered because, you know, I want to be with my bro. <laughs> so, yeah.